tab interface. Tab interface is uh, another way how you can deploy Palo Alto firewall. It's a deployment where the Palo Alto is not in line with the traffic. Let's quickly overview the picture from Palo Alto documentation to see how they recommend to use the tab interface. It is the way to connect your brand new Palo Alto firewall into your infrastructure where you can monitor the traffic that is going through your infrastructure. Yeah, It is usually recommended by Palo Alto sales reps to use it if you want, if you're migrating from traditional L3, L4 firewall onto application aware firewall, where Palo Alto can recognize the application. So what they recommend is to plug it in, in a sort of tap interface, monitor your traffic for a certain period of the time, and then build the application groups and the application policies based on the, based on the results. I haven't used it anywhere in the production, the tap interface. The main reason is usually when the company spends hundred and hundred thousand of dollars or euros for the new firewall solution, they want to implement it straight away and they don't want to wait for certain period of time where you monitor just the monitored traffic with the brand new boxes which are sitting somewhere somewhere in the racks. Um, as you can see from the picture here, this is typical picture from the Palo Alto documentation. Uh, if you if you use the tap interface, there's nothing you can do with the traffic. You can't police it, you can't update, you can't do any any of the SSL decryption, for example, like you can do with the virtual wire. You can only monitor the traffic. You need to connect it to your switch infrastructure. You need to create something what is called a, a span interface uh, or port mirroring. It's a different name with a different vendors. In my lab today, I will show you how it's connected to the Cisco switch with the two simple commands where you configure the, the span interface. Uh, that obviously, if you're using a Juniper or anything else, you would have to use a different command. But there's a plenty of procedures online how to how to configure it. So it's really the tap interface in a Palo Alto in this setup is used just for the evaluation, as it says here, evaluation and audit of existing traffic, which flows through, through your networks. Let me close this picture and quickly overview the lab. So this is my lab. Let's pretend this is my existing network where I have a firewall switch internet connectivity. We can test I have internet connectivity. We will use this device to generate the traffic through. And then we have here the Palo Alto firewall with a tap interface. And this tap interface will monitor this gig zero slash two and all the traffic which comes through. So what it will do, the traffic when it pass through, it will be copied onto the gig zero slash three, and then it will be sent to the firewall and we should be able to see all the traffic in the logs. The configuration for the tab interface is quite straightforward. We can straight away jump in. So I will use this management workstation where I can manage both of the firewalls. Uh, we will log into this firewall just to see the traffic going through and then we can compare it if both firewalls see the same traffic pattern uh, in, in their logs. I will manage this firewall, and this firewall to configure the tap interface and we will also log into the switch to configure the uh, uh, span port or mirroring port for the gig 0 slash 2. So, so I need to be on a dot. 20, which is this interface, uh, this firewall. Now, uh, if you log into your Palo Alto firewall, you log into the dashboard, all the tab interface configuration is done under the network. But apart from configuring, um, apart from configuring the tab interface, you also need to configure the access policies. I will all show you in a in a, in a moment. So if we start on the network. Um, we see our interface one slash three is connected exactly as it is in the lab. And it's green, so it's mean it's it's up. I would start on the first create a zone. Even you just monitoring traffic, you need to create a zone. And I, I know you will show you will see in a minute why is it because you need to put it in a in a policies later. So I call the zone, I call it as a zone and its type is type 
top you can see there are different version virtual wire layer two layer three but we want to tap i click ok so that's connect that's configured i go to interfaces i click the connected interface ethernet one slash three uh, interface type is a tap net flow i don't have to configure anything the only thing i want to configure is uh, zone we just created i will click ok do that so we have interface interface tab tab we configure the zone now we have this now we have to go and configure the policies the this firewall in this lab is completely blank. There is no other policies apart from the default one, but I need to add the policies for the uh, for the tap traffic. Let's wait for the policies to pop up. Great. Tap tap policy source. Now source will be the zone, and I will do the tap zone. I do. I don't do any IP addresses. Nothing there. Just the source is a tap zone. And the destination is also tab zone. So it's a from same zone to same zone. Application default, uh, application default, that's fine. Allow, log at the session end. You can also click the log at the session start if you want more, more details, but that log at the session end should be enough. Click OK. So we have the policy. We have configured the tab interface. The only thing we need to do now is to hit commit button click the commit while we're waiting for the commit if you like the content please hit the like button and subscribe now the commit is completed we can close the window the last thing we need to do is to configure the switch to mirror the traffic onto the interface we want so if you look at the topology we want to mirror the gig 0 slash 2 over to gig 0 slash 3 now here's our switch in question. Uh, just bear with me a second. So go into the conf mode and we will configure monitor session. Now you give it a session number in a case you have more monitoring sessions. I just call it a one. Now source interface is a gig. 0 slash 2 sorry 0 slash 2 yeah I do the same same command just for the session one the destination interface is a gi 0 slash 3 and that's all what you need to configure on a on a Cisco switch on this kind of the Cisco switch there are all the switches where the commands are slightly different but if you if those commands doesn't work for you just look at the Cisco documentation it's pretty straightforward now if I exit the configuration mode I can show you uh, show monitor session one and you should see that you configure the source port is a girl gig 0 slash 2 and a destination port gig 0 slash 3. Encapsulation is set to native because we don't using any VLANs there. There's the node.1q, it's in a default VLAN number one. So that should be it for our uh, tab interface configuration. So let's quickly have a look. Um, so we are on the firewall.20, which we configured the tab interface. If we go, this is the Linux workstation here. From here, I will try to access the website, generate the traffic, which will go through the firewall and the switch. And when I hit the switch, it should be copied onto the port gig 0 slash 3 and should be sent to another to, to, to our firewall, which is a tough firewall. So let's do that. Uh, I'll try, for example, BBC Sport, if we have internet access. Now, the access is there. Now, first, Let's have a look at the. Uh, I will just move my window so I can access the refresh button here. Yeah, we can see there is some traffic generated to DNS, some of the public traffic. Yeah. Now let's have a look at the, the tab interface firewall. So if we go to the monitor tab, traffic. I 
we'll refresh it. Now we can see the destinations are the same. 23 to 1519. 23 to 1519, 132. So yes, so you can see the tab interface is working. We should also see if we look at the policies that we should see some hits on these policies. Yeah, we can see the hit count here. So the policy is being used. The traffic is now being traffic is being now copied from this interface into the gig zero slash three and sent over the Palo Alto firewall. So in this setup, you can monitor your current infrastructure and it will help you to build the application profile for what you use to see uh, if using Oracle, Microsoft Teams and so on. So it can help you to build a, um, the policies, the um, application ever policies for, for Palo Alto firewall if you're preparing to migrate from traditional L3, L4 firewalls, which they um, only blocks and permit traffic based on the port number, not the application. So I hope so. This was informative. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.